Hey, so a couple months ago I started doing a video that documented a new health change every week. And I would have kept doing that. Um, I got I kind of got into that typical little like, oh, I, I don't want to <laughs> phase, you know, where you're like, all of your self-control and determination just go out the window. But I was going to start back up really, really soon. And then I found out I was pregnant. So, um, change of plans. I am not supposed to lose weight. Um, okay, so I'm pregnant, and I decided that instead of documenting positive health changes, I'm going to document, like, the bodily changes that are going to happen in, like, my baby <laughs> as it grows. Um, so, yeah. I guess I'll start with the story of how I found out I was pregnant. I actually assumed that I could be. I, I came to terms with the possibility the very day after I had the um, the sex in question. Um, normally with this, I had a friends with benefits sort of relationship with this person. And normally we were very, very safe and smart about it. But one time we weren't. And afterwards I was kind of freaking out. I was like, okay... Well, I'm dumb. <laughs> um, I didn't do it to get pregnant, and I didn't do it for any other reason than I was like, oh, sex is fun, let's do it. <laughs> Despite not having a condom on us. Um, so we went ahead and did that anyway, and I was pretty worried about it the day after, and that didn't stop. Um, so I told my mom, actually, before I actually found out I was pregnant, I told my mom. Just because I couldn't go th through a couple weeks of not knowing whether or not she'd, like, still love me afterwards. And, of course, she assured me that she wouldn't. My mom's awesome. She was definitely, um, not, not excited about the idea by any means, but just calming about it. And she was like, just wait. There's no reason to freak out. Just, you know we'll take, we'll take, um, you know, across that bridge when we get there. So, uh, the bridge came up and I had to cross it. Uh, I was a day late for my period and I was pretty sure at that point, like, I, I had gone through all the normal pre-period things, like a mood swing and I felt like depressed and then like I had that time like where you kind of get like bloated but I think uh, my body was like eh, just kidding <laughs> because my period the day I was supposed to get my period came and it didn't happen and I was like great I'm pregnant I know it like I am I just need to take a test to confirm it so two days later when I got paid I bought a test and I took it and it was indeed positive <laughs> and I spent the next 15 minutes crying and like freaking out and then I started telling people I told my co-worker first and then I told my brother and, and my mom and my roommate the next day I told the dad and he also proceeded to freak out and cry um, and then um, then I don't know I just spent a couple weeks going, like, feeling an immense amount of anxiety over it and worried over my anxiety, like, is my freaking out right now gonna kill my baby? Because that's what I was worried about, like, my anxiety would kill my child, which I don't, um, I, well, I didn't love it yet, I didn't, I didn't want it to die, you know, especially not at my hands. Um, obviously no one wishes that. Hopefully no one wishes that on, a, on an infant. And I, you know, every voice deserves a chance to live. And I wanted to make sure that, that this person growing inside me that I'm responsible for now has as much as a chance as to anyone else. So, so my, my protectiveness over it was growing, but not my love. And even now... As, as much as um, my internal instincts are starting to kick in, I'm not quite at the point where I'm like, I love my baby. Like, there are moments where I'm like, like, 
I get really excited, but then there are moments where I'm simply not ecstatic, and I'm kind of just like, and it doesn't feel real yet, but that could be because I haven't seen it or heard it or done any doctor thing yet. My first doctor's appointment is on the 7th of this month of November, so it's in four days, and um, I've already decided that after that I'm going to announce it to the Facebook world and everyone who doesn't already know, people who aren't my close friends, basically. Um, I'm, um, yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm excited to just get that off my plate, um, and I, it'll be too soon to hear my baby's heartbeat or anything yet. I, I'm seven weeks right now, and I will be eight weeks um, by the time that doctor's appointment ha happens. Um, my baby's about the size of a blueberry. Its heart beats twice as fast as mine, and it moves around a little bit, like it twitches. <laughs> it has little fingers, and it's starting to look human rather than reptile. And it's, um, uh, it's just growing super fast. Apparently it's, um... 10,000 times the size it was when I would conceive. So these are all like what to expect facts and you can find them online anywhere there. It's really cool to look at pictures of what, um, like if you could see into a uterus, what a baby developing looks like. Um, definitely, definitely starting to look more cute than scary. So, um, I mean, I'm excited to see what happens at the appointment, but I'm pretty sure it's all going to be informational and, like, just confirming that I'm actually pregnant, which I totally am. Um, all of that stuff. Um, so, uh, as far as symptoms go, I have felt nausea a lot, especially as a result of the sense of smell that develops in a pregnant woman. Like, your sense of smell goes crazy. Um... And so, like, everything makes you sick. Every scent makes you sick. Um, like, I was fanning a book, and the, the smell that came off the pages made me nauseous. I was like, this is insane. I don't want this. <laughs> As a result of this nausea, I have, lo I have a loss of appetite and some puking and weight loss. I've lost 10 pounds since, um, so in, like, two weeks which is like a drastic change and I know that if you lose 10% of your total body fat which for me would be like just over 20 pounds then you should talk to a doctor but right now it's not something to be worried about um and it's normal for especially um when you're when you have morning sickness which is really just all day sickness <laughs> um I have not I don't have like a baby belly so I don't need to show you guys that yet I'm just normal sized I don't feel smaller as a result of the weight loss because I'm still bloated like like before you know when you're normal you can suck in your gut I can't because it's all it's just like so much your your liquid content almost doubles when you're pregnant it's crazy you just are huge like bloated immediately um sore boobs that make it kind of hard to like breathe sometimes <laughs> and like sleep comfortably um exhaustion oh my word tired all the time if i could nap three times a day i would but my days don't normally allow me that so i don't nap but i could sleep all the time <laughs> um it's because it's because not only are you making your body but in the first four months you're also making the placenta so that's like twice the job um that your body is doing. So that's why normally in your second trimester you feel better and also you have more energy because you're not making the placenta anymore. You're just making a baby, which just is kind of like a ridiculous term to use because it's a big job and you will be tired anyway, but you won't be as exhausted as a woman just starting her pregnancy is. I've heard that a, a statistic rather is um, that a woman starting a pregnancy is as tired as if uh, as if she has hiked a mountain, like, every day. <laughs> so, um, not sore, like, like, hiking a mountain, obviously, but, like, just exhausted, like, you expended that much energy. So that is where I am right now, tired and sick, and boy, does that nausea really wear, wear, um, wear out your resolve and your, 
control of emotions. It's crazy. Um, the deterioration of my kind of like my, my psyche, you know. It's um, I get I get really like scared sometimes, really sad sometimes, um, really excited other times. Um, I'm happy, you know. I, I'm getting there. I'm getting to the point. Um, but but I think part of the reason I'm not there yet is because I don't like I don't have any. Aside from the pregnancy tests and the obvious lack of period and obvious nausea and all that, I don't have like a firm grip on me being pregnant. Um, I heard that doesn't usually kick in until you either see or hear your baby or you start seeing it like grow and your stomach get bigger. So we'll see um, how that goes. But that is my update at seven weeks, almost eight weeks. Um, and I guess, I guess, um, I don't know. I might make another one after my doctor's appointment. So, no more weight loss for me. Well, apparently, a little bit, because I can't eat anything, so that sucks. But, um, no more intentional weight loss, I guess. So, <laughs> yay, babies.